Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular with Bootstrap series and in today's episode we are going to continue to implement bootstrap tables in our Angular application. In the previous episode we learned all about the utility classes that are provided in bootstrap tables. We learned how to integrate that in our Angular application and in today's episode we are going to connect the dynamic data with our table. So let's get started with it. I request you if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so uh, before we proceed and also if you have not seen the previous episodes or videos please do check them for valuable information. As always if you have any doubts or any technical queries please let me know in the comment section below I'll be happy to help you for free. Let's get started. So we have seen last time how to use bootstrap dark uh, bootstrap table, bootstrap responsive, all of that we have used in the previous episode. So do please check it out and let's get started by integrating dynamic data into our table. Let's get started. So this is what we are up to. So we had imp implemented the table. It had the static data. If you see all of this data is copied from the example and these are all static data. So now we are going to make it um, responsive as well as we are going to make it dynamic by integrating the data from the component. So let's get started. So first in our code in the component, let's say we make a request to HTTP, we get some data, right? So I've used a JSON array of JSON objects and I am putting user ID, first name, last name, email and birthday. This is what we want to display it in our screen now. So let's get started so that it is called table data. Let's take that and first name, last name, then I'm going to add all the fields that we need and I'm going to make this birthday. And then we are going to write a loop here. Uh, for the TR, we will write ng for loop. So ng for equal to let user of users the table data is table data in our case and then we are going to print using interpolation which is double arrow and we are going to say user dot user id so now you should see this is all coming this is all now dynamic data that it's binded and then we are going to delete all of our static data so now you see we don't have any data except for one row. So this is user.user .user ID. Copy that and paste it. And that way we know. All right. So now we are going to make it first name, last name. So I'm doing an event binding here, which means that all of this data will come dynamically now. This is an extra column. All right, so using ng4 and event binding, we have looped the data. So now you see all of this data is coming dynamically, John, Hudson, Macy, Levy. So we have total 10 records, which are now dynamic, dynamically getting displayed in our table. Email, email is not coming. That's because of the field name. So it's email, okay, let's copy it here. Okay, all right, uh, there is a reason why it's not showing up. Uh, let's see if it's correctly mapped. Column, okay, it's not, okay. So that might be one of the reserved keywords. So I'm going to make it email address. And that should solve the problem. Let it refresh. It's still not loaded. That's surprising. Let's see why. Email address. Let's go here. First name, last name, email, and it's here. It should be email address. Done. Okay, so there we see now. So we have our beautiful table that's coming up well. It's all the list of contacts. We have our reminders. 
which we have created as part of the to-do list. I have my contacts list. So this is how we can make a dynamic um, um, table integrated in our Angular application. And that's how you do event uh, data binding. We can also add some more fields like I am going to give here actions. And we will put something like a simple edit and edit slash delete links for each of the actions. So we can edit or delete the records, all of that. So we will do that once we uh, once we come across the form uh, elements and um, how to add, edit, delete the CRUD operations. Basically, we will do it after our model window. In the next episode, I'm going to cover model window where we start with our form uh, in which we'll put a basic form and then we'll start adding much, much more. So here you have uh, edit and delete. So you can just, uh, so you can use again utility classes and call is, call it text danger, right? So you have yeah, all the red color and now we have our table which you can easily edit and delete. This is the row we can add new. So we are going to work on this button in the next where we are going to put a add new model window. And after that, we'll start working on the form to update and delete and work on it. I hope you are following the series. I hope you are liking the series. Please do let me know if you have any questions or doubts. I'll be happy to help you for free. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much. See you in the next uh, episode, which is Bootstrap Model Window.